Impact of Amazon's Payment Service Provider Program on Ripple Price It is always interesting to consider the prospects of these cryptocurrency ventures teaming up with significant retailing behemoths that have impacted our lives over the past 10 years. We'd particularly like to see a relationship between Ripple XRP and Amazon, the reigning king of the online markets. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, a channel where we give you the daily updates about XRP. In today's video, you will learn about the impact of Amazon's payment service provider PSP program on Ripple price. Watch this video till the end to see what we have for you. So without any further delay, let's start our video. Owner of the popular Brazilian financial service mega app Inter and a user of Ripple's on-demand liquidity or ODL services Inter & Co, previously Banker Inter, has revealed that it has enrolled in Amazon's payment service provider or PSP program. As we know that Brad Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple, announced a significant advancement for the adoption of RippleNet and on-demand liquidity or ODL services as the Ripple Swell conference came to a close. The conference's major objective was on the creation of central bank digital currencies or CBDCs. Ripple also disclosed that it expects to experience rapid growth over the coming year. Nearly 40 payout markets, or 90% of the currency markets, are now active on ODL, according to Garlinghouse's announcement at the conference. Provided the countries in the Asia-Pacific and Latin American regions are more likely to recognize the importance of blockchain and its tokens than its first world counterpart. Ripple has been able to capitalize on the requirement for quick transactions, as well as another untapped potential in emerging economies. As central bank digital currencies or CBDCs gain popularity, it is likely that poorer nations considering this option will choose Ripple because it already provides a proven cross-border foundation. Banking institutions will start to think about incorporating cryptocurrency into their services as CBDC popularity increases. Ripple will benefit greatly from this as RippleNet is already connected to a lot of banks. Any seller that uses PSP for revenue collection is required under the program to partner with Amazon-approved provider. Brazilian customers of Inter, who are Amazon US sellers, will now be able to receive and send payments to their Inter accounts. According to a press statement from the digital bank, thanks to the cooperation, Brazilian clients of Inter, who are Amazon US sellers, will now be able to receive and send international payments to Inter accounts. As a result of the relationship, Inter is now one of the 28 providers globally that have registered with the Amazon PSP program. Amazon launched the initiative back in 2021 as a part of its continued efforts to be the most reputable online marketplace for customers and retailers worldwide, saving them from fraud and exploitation. Amazon does business with numerous international suppliers. A prompt and efficient payment must be made to these vendors. In an effort to streamline operations, Amazon has constructed warehouses all around the world but a Ripple-based payment system would make it even more effective. Consider all the suppliers that Amazon works with. You can only imagine how difficult it would be to track and pay invoices. Even though I'm sure they already have a productive system in place, I can't understand why they would be tempted to follow Asia MTM Group Limited's lead when it announced that it would begin taking payments made with Ripple XRP coin and implementing the Ripple Ledger technology. Alasio Medos, head of cross-border at Enter, commented on the agreement and said that having a partner with Amazon US is a significant accomplishment for the business. He added that in order to accomplish the accomplishments, Enter had to put into place important technical and security advancements that will benefit and give peace of mind to its users. After Banco Enter bought Usen, a customer of Ripple ODL services since 2019, and reorganized to become the NASDAQ-listed Enter & Co., the business made a notable expansion to the United States earlier this year. A full range of services in banking, investments, credit, insurance, retail, and remittance-related activities are provided by the InterSuper app. Brazil is among the fastest-growing countries globally in terms of e-commerce and the rapid adoption of digital payments, creating a great market opportunity for Enter. Our presence in both the US and Brazil uniquely positioned us to serve Brazilian Amazon sellers with innovation and quality, said by Meidos. The business also recently formed a potentially enormous agreement with FMS Africa. The corporation has the greatest mobile money footprint on the continent, with over 400 million customers and more than 800 payment corridors. As a result, the financial company based in San Francisco has grabbed a sixth continent. Recently, we announced a number of new ODL clients. We are delighted to say that ODL payment markets include Africa, Argentina, Belgium, Israel, Australia, Brazil, Singapore, the United Arab Emirates, the United Kingdom, and many more. 
Ripple is also developing machine learning skills to better enhance the client's experience in order to handle the expansion. While controlling liquidity at the maximum level to enable a range of transaction types, the system seeks to increase the efficiency of the payment process. The backbone of all the company and its products, liquidity, is the focus of machine learning and automation initiatives, according to Devraj Vardhan, ZVP of engineering at Ripple. The debut might happen as soon as this year, according to expectations. Vadran stated, As Ripple's products reach significant growth and scale in 2022, we continue to invest and deliver solutions to sustainably grow. He continued, We're excited to launch several of those capabilities this year to scale ODL effectively to serve more customers globally and to provide the best experience possible for our customers. Ripple ODL is expanding significantly. Payment methods have developed quickly during the last few years. The virtual wallets have increased the barriers for beginners. This is a major aspect for the entire monetary economic system. The XRP token-based payment mechanism is expanding quickly, as stated by Ripple in the blog post. ODL was first introduced in 2018 in an effort to resolve problems with cross-border payments. But ODL is now also going for business. Ripple broadened its payment service beyond financial institutions to satisfy the rising demand. ODL now provides corporate clients with services in a number of industries, including retail, agricultural, e-commerce, technology, and supply chain, including Nutrisource, Oceanus, Balancy, and New Horizon. Hi Hey Money Transfer CEO Diane Negan stated, Ripple's ODL solutions answers the industry's age-old problems of pre-funding and speed of fund settlement. Since partnering with Ripple and utilizing ODL, we've been able to better manage our capital requirements and funding flows, thereby allowing us to offer a near real-time payout for our customers. Could XRP price reach new highs if Ripple ODL is adopted? To fully understand the significance of such a cooperation and how it would transform XRP and the already groundbreaking online market known as Amazon, one must take a step back and examine the company's operations from all relevant business perspectives. By doing this, you will be able to identify circumstances in which Ripple Payment System Services and XRP, the coin, could improve processes and increase the efficiency of an existing effective business. Furthermore, Ripple's ODL platform has also been registering significant growth, with the addition of new territories including Africa, Argentina, Belgium, Israel, Australia, Brazil, Singapore, the UAE, and the UK, among other Tier 1 payment gateways. Ripple stated in an update earlier this month that its ODL services now cover the whole world. A message protocol in the technology used in the new system, rule sets will be applied to these transactions to ensure instant confirmations everywhere. The post further stated that, in order to optimize liquidity availability at all times, the ODL service now also uses machine learning to streamline consumer wallets. Parallel to this, according to data from BitHop, this week saw significant XRP transactions among BitGo, the major crypto custody service in the US, and the well-known Ripple ODL corridor Bitstamp Exchange. The cost of XRP has been rising throughout the day. At the time of research, the token is trading at about 42 cents, a gain of 2.44% over the previous 24 hours. The price of XRP is currently at a two-week high. Regardless of the difficulties, as of December 2022, XRP was still ranked among the top 10 cryptocurrencies in the world by market capitalization. The technology developed by XRPL is seen as a disruptive factor in the world financial system. The ongoing legal dispute between Ripple and the SEC has, however, made Ripple and XRP more well-known recently. The verdict of the lawsuit will have a significant impact on the price of XRP in the coming years. According to the price predictions, long-term XRP USD projection made as of December 1, 2022, XRP could typically trade for $1.31 in 2025. According to price predictions XRP price forecast, the token would have traded for an average of $7.60 in 2030. So guys, this is it for today's video. I hope it could be a big help to you. What do you think about Amazon's PSP program impact on XRP price improvement in the future? Share your views in the comments down below and get people involved in the discussion. Also, like and share our videos within your circle to make it reach out to everyone. If you are new here, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get our daily videos. And for the notification of our daily videos, don't forget to click the bell icon and participate in the giveaway. And thanks for watching. We will come up with new videos, so stay tuned with us. And until then, goodbye and have a nice day.